Nightingale. Just about a year ago today, I visited for the first time the Philippines, an island nation in Southeast Asia known primarily amongst us Americans for its cheap and affordable tropical vacations. So I wanted to see what all that hype was about, and I went down to LAX, grabbed myself a latte, printed out my boarding pass, and took an 11 hour flight to Taiwan where I had my first layover. And I checked out this vending machine where I have to say, um, yes, the rumors are true. Asia's vending machine game uh, is on point, puts ours to shame. They had like tapioca juice in there, shit was cool. But anyway, my flight took me into the capital of the Philippines, city of Manila. But my hotel was actually in this other district called BGC, Bonifacio Global City. It's like their fancy business district. Anyway, the very first place I visited was real similar to this place we have in Vegas in America, uh, meant to mimic the Venice canals in Italy. It's really cool though. Also on my first night there, I went down to this big public park in the like bayfront region of the capital called Rizal Park, named after. He's their main national hero who was involved in their independence from Spain, I do believe. I saw his statue a couple places, saw his paintings in the museum, read his placard, but yeah, forgive me if I got that wrong at all. Anyways, they had this sweet ass light show going on in the water while I was there with the fountains and really created a magnificent ambiance, great place to walk around, would recommend. Bring a date, bring your kids, it's like that. The first museum I went to was actually not in that area, it was in a part of town called Binondo. That's the Chinatown of Manila, where they have the Chinese History Museum, which showcases, yeah, history of the Chinese in the Philippines. But it's pretty sweet, some pretty ancient history in here, going all the way back to like 1200s or something. Lots of cool artifacts. Only a couple bucks to get in, definitely worth the spend. I was in here for like a solid 45, 50 minutes. I walked around a lot in Binondo and I checked out some of like the street food and street markets. They have a pretty cool one called Divisoria Public Market where it's just like a whole bunch of street vendors hawking stuff. I just didn't film it. You don't necessarily want to be walking around that with your phone out. But from Binondo and Divisoria, I did go down to the museums, kind of like their main museums down in that national capital region. And these exhibits were really impressive. Actually, one of the highlights of my whole trip just on par with stuff I had seen in Los Angeles and Washington DC and other parts of the United States so I was loving it informative inspiring whatever you want to call it you know different things to different people so in addition to that Chinatown Museum I also hit up the Museum of Fine Art and the Museum of Natural History and you know I give both high marks also worth the spend I think yeah if you're like a student in the Philippines it's free but obviously if you're a foreigner there's like a small fee so no worries there it goes to support the exhibits looking the way they do like this and like with almost every region in Manila there was some great malls and some great restaurants worth checking out as well nearby but from here my trip got a little bit more adventurous and a little bit more rural I went to see this tall volcano in a town called Tagaite and I took like all three forms of Filipino public transportation to get there. So it was quite the cultural immersion. Great tip with that to avoid any misunderstandings or hassle is to really establish what they're going to charge you before you get on that form of transportation. Your hotel might even have an informative little sheet saying like how much you should be paying in pesos for certain trip durations. Maybe ask the people you're staying with. But anyway, this is footage from Tal Volcano, Tall Volcano. Um, I forget how to say it, but yeah, it was breathtaking up there, man. And this is footage from a sad little horseback ride I also took in the region. Um, dude was a little bit malnourished. Also, I had some stuff stolen from me. Somebody made off with it when I set it down, so still gotta be on your guard in the Philippines. The rest of my time in the Manila area was spent hanging out in malls. I mentioned it before, malls are a very popular thing in the Philippines because that weather is hot and depressive. And also, I just spent a lot of time in the hotel taking advantage of that sweet conversion rate where my US dollar goes a little bit further. So funny story about that actually, there was this nightclub type thing on the top like penthouse of this hotel I was staying in and I was visiting it every single night just going ham, making good friends with the bartender and the DJ. And I told him about how I DJ. He eventually actually let me, you know, interrupt his set, spin a few tracks. So 
Shout out DJ Abduct in the Philippines, man. And on that note, I left the big island where Manila is to go do what most tourists do when they visit the Philippines, and that's island hopping. I went to what is probably the most popular choice for this activity, and that's the island called Palawan. It's pretty famous online for the white sand beaches and the clear blue water, still warm. Yeah, it really lived up to all the hype, I have to say. The only thing about it was that the weather in the Philippines is highly unpredictable. So there were certain cities on that island I wanted to go to that I didn't get to because there was a typhoon blocking my flight. So I could only really go where a car would take me. And I also didn't want to be where the typhoon was. So there was really only certain spots I could get to check out during this particular trip. But either way, it lived up to the hype. Like I said, man, I checked out Honda Bay and like six different little mini islands that they shuffle you to and from. And the thing that really needs to be talked about and emphasized here is that I was making friends every single step of the way on this trip, and some of them whom like I'm still in contact with to this day. So there's so much to appreciate about the Philippines, but that's really the best thing. You can check out my overall review of the country right here on the screen, both the good and the bad, but personally, I'll be back to the Philippines and I would say if you're interested then I recommend paying a visit. Nightingale. Nick Nightingale. Oh my god.